I could punch myself. I didn't. I played through like five minutes of the, f well, not even, I probably paid for, played through like ten minutes of this story and I didn't press the record button. Yeah, I thought my camera was lagging a little too little for freaking. This game was gifted to me by a subscriber and they wanted to see my reaction so bad that they decided to buy it for me. Shut up, I am talking. We're here to slay the princess, that's what he's saying. Okay, which sucks because my reactions were like... But I only got to like the second round, so... I don't know what happens past then, but... I've only got like a snippet of information now. Which sucks though, because now that's- You know what, I'm just gonna play through the story exactly the way I did, because that way you guys can still see genuine reactions as to what was happening. But basically I was like, okay, um... Do I get a reward? And then... Can't someone else forget this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was... I just kept... I said, thanks Tell thanks for telling me what to do. You make your warning, she will Basically, he's saying she's gonna lie to you. She's gonna do whatever she can to, like, convince you not to kill her. And I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, that's understandable. I took the knife. I went into the basement. I entered the basement. The door to the basement I'm so sorry. I'm so revealing I completely overlooked. I was, like, half, like, ten minutes into the game and I looked and I was like, oh... The button's not blue. Who's there? She said, Don't let it f yeah, so basically I said hi. Don't be a stranger. And she was like, come down. And I was like, you do do it, do do it, do do it, do do. And we meet eyes and I... Kill me or something? Stole, stole, I stealed my nerves and I stepped forward. She was like, you think you can kill me? Boy! And then basically I was like... Slay the princess. Forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, this is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that. This didn't happen, happen last time. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to Wait, did it? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Oh, this didn't happen last time. We got in a fight and she killed me. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. I hit new game. I closed out and I hit new game. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. Wait, so if I'm alive and she's dead, does that close the loop? For me, at least? Well, no, because I wouldn't be in that new loop. But is it over? Really over? Yeah, of course not. That That's way too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? Shouldn't we check for a pulse to make sure she's dead? Like... If you're so sure she's dead, shouldn't we look for a pulse to make sure? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. In her human form? Okay, I'll trust the narrator. I'll leave. You're right. She's dead. Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs. Closing the door to the basement. That door sound scared me, actually. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? I mean, we did our job. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. Let's leave. You open the cabin door. Ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. I broke the timeline in a bad way. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. 
You'll be happy. Wait, this is my prize. <laughs> this is great. Thank you so much. I don't ever have to see people again. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping I'd get a better ending for saving the world. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. What the? I didn't agree to this. The hero should have signed a contract. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? He's talking to me. Oh, but yeah, that's what happens when you work 1099 without a contract. You're going to get screwed. Didn't the, do you hear the narrator? We're happy. Hell no. Uh, yeah, no, we're not. No, no, no. We're not going to stay here and do nothing forever. I feel like I have, I feel like I have ADD, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with the silence for eternity. Hell no. How do you think we're going to get out of here? I do, but you're probably not going to like it. Oh, we're going to kill ourselves. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Are you speaking this? Because if you're speaking, speaking this, he's gonna hear you. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use Who's talking it. to who anymore? Don't you dare. Yeah, I mean, anything to get out of boring void. Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. You assumed I wanted this? Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself- We're- we're a monster already! The end. Does the game back up even if you- if you- if you close the game out? I guess it does, because I started a new game. The Spectre. Ooh, this one sounds scary. Would you stop pinging me? I'm trying to play a game! And in the basement of that cabin... Is a princess. To slay her. If you don't, it'll be the end of the world. Oh, you bastard. You're in for it. I'm, I'm wise to your tricks. Thank you, omniscient voice from nowhere. You're definitely not demonic. <laughs> if he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Mm. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this is really- all this really did happen, why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. The f no, because the first time I listened to you, like, word for word, and I still died, she murdered me. Listened to you plenty. We slew the princess just like you asked us to. Well, not in this playthrough. This playthrough, I guess. For eternity. So we slew ourselves too. Well, if you killed yourself, then you weren't listening to me, because I would never want you to do that. Believe it or not, I care about you. Who is the narrator? And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, "Oh, what's the point of doing anything?" If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous... Mm. Sorry, I saw something weird in my camera. Last time around, didn't have any 
consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We slew the princess, the world outside the cabin disappeared, we died, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? It doesn't matter because we didn't fail to slay her. And if she's really back, which I doubt, it'll be just as easy to do it again. But after that nasty trick you pulled on us, maybe she's not the only one around here in need of slaying. Do these voices sound the same? Just stay focused, will you? They kinda do. Huh. Let's just go to the cabin. I want to see what the princess looks like on round three. She will lie. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. She won't be a problem. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. What if the princess isn't necessarily my enemy? She's dangerous, but what if she's not my enemy? The blade is your it feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. I want to see that. The mirror disappeared. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. They keep saying that. The room below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. She looks dead. It's just like I told. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g g ghost A g g g ghost oh. Wow. Absolutely terrifying. I'm sure there are jump scares, by the way, because it said there's flashing lights. To us. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Oh, she's got the wound in her chest. Her touch is cold and ethereal. Oh, it's it's a uh, real enough that her dimensional tips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. We could probably grab her and kill her again, if we wanted to. We don't even need a blade. She looks fragile enough to me. Wait, but I don't. How do you kill a ghost? I see you don't have that annoying. Does that mean you regret what you've done? Are you here to apologize and make things? A big crap solution, maybe? Because I might be interested in seeing a little begging. Hmm.
There's so many choices, I kind of have a uh, choice par paralysis. There's- God, there's so many choices. Uh... <laughs> okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? Uh, would no, because I really don't want the input of those voices, because I feel like it's going to sway me even more. Okay, slaylee Yeah, okay, clearly slaying you isn't going to work. What do you want? I want what you took from me. A life. A real life. I just, I just want, want to go home. home. All the way back to where I belong. This place won't let me leave. At least, not alone. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything will be fine. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. Yes and no. I mean, if she can't get out, she can't get out. It'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hit your ride. Oh, it all hinges on me. After all, you owe me. Okay, well that that convinced me pretty quick. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. More catastrophic than being stuck in a void forever? Then again, I'm thinking selfishly. Hmm. Would she be able to see us? an interesting thought. We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so, so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Yeah, I was told you'd end the world. What, uh... Let's talk about what would happen if you left. And what? You just believed that? You killed me without giving it any thought? That's cold. That's rich coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. She's right, though, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let him better off. Well, where are you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. You didn't answer my question. Do you want to end the world? That's not what I asked, princess. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? leans in close and pauses. She's trying to manipulate me. Stale and unmoving. Especially when someone is dead. She pulls back with a plate. <laughs> I don't think most living people could answer that. Either. They're all trying to manipulate me. What does that mean? Leave it at that. What if I pr 
press the issue. You still didn't answer my question, even if you don't want it to end. Does that... Does letting you out of here mean that the world is going to end? We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. I really, really don't know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. And I'm supposed to just go along with that? <laughs> the world doesn't matter. The only the universe that I'm supposed to be there, there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at this. <laughs> This was in my pocket. I was trying to defrost it because it froze in, on my counter and I wanted some ice cream with some, <laughs> some hard shell. It. it was in my pocket and I wanted to start leaking in my pocket. The world doesn't matter. All I remember is <laughs> I was supposed to be there, not here. I'm just part of it. It's home, I think. Ah, okay, it was a dialogue loop. Okay, um... Don't ask me why I'm reading from the up. I think I- I don't know. I, I just- I don't know. Right, I don't think there's much more to, to talk about. I'm gonna get my blade. If you're really dead, then there isn't much for me to do. Okay, I've gotten enough thought. The answer is no. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what I wanted to say. Like, I don't think I want to do that. Sorry, I'm checking <laughs> something real quick. I guess we'll have to fight then. I'm unarmed! And you're dead! As it passes through you, a chill rippling along your skin, a disappointed sigh echoing in your ears. I don't trust either of you. You turn and face her as she hovers between you and the stairs. Spectral tears streak down her cheeks as she places a translucent hand on your chest. It feels cold. But otherwise, like, nothing at all. Are we doing the right thing? Why do I feel so sad? Don't let her get to you. It doesn't matter. Somehow, soon, this too will be over. And we'll move on to something new. I feel like you all keep forgetting that. Her dark-rimmed eyes fall to the floor as she speaks. I never wanted to have to hurt anybody. It's not who I wanted to date. I don't know, you keep putting off really threatening auras. The tears on her cheeks vanish. She lifts her head, sorrow replaced with wrath, staring into you with fiery anger. But I guess you've turned me into something worse. She forces her hand into your chest, and then- She's gonna rip out my heart. Yes? Nothing happens. Are oh? You sure about that? So something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully- She touching my soul? It is. A horrific splintering, the squelching- Oh no, she got my heart. <laughs> ending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owe, starting with your body. If you don't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. Who, oh, oh my? <laughs> She's real now. Pity we don't have a weapon. Your last moments are spent a helpless witness as she rips her hand from your chest, holding your still beating heart in her clenched fist. But that's ours. <laughs> but that's mine. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> hey, that's not yours. From between her fingers, dribbling unceremoniously to the floor. Everything goes dark. Then you, you die. die. Eh. Okay, well. <laughs> the Wraith. Oh, is she getting like more vengeful type? In the, wood. the wood's changed. The deck's stacked, isn't it? We kill her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. Come on. Let's not give in to all that. This money. is interesting. There's gotta be a way out of this. I love the psychological gameplay going on here. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if all of this was rigged from the start? What if it wasn't, though? 
What if these are just the consequences of my actions? That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of cosmic busy work. I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. I don't believe that. Wouldn't that get, I don't know, boring? Okay, so you've already been here. Twice even. Great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Mm-mm. There's too many holes in everybody's stories. Well, we didn't have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do that? Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. That doesn't sound like me. If I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void. And then you told us we were happy. Well, were you happy? No! Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. <laughs> yeah. It was boring. boring. It was bullshit. So you killed yourself. I'm gonna acknowledge this uh, now because it just came to me like the fact that the stakes are going up because I'm having more and more voices in my head trying to sway me in one way or another. That's really cool. Even though she was already dead, this is all fake. Okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real, and the danger she poses to all of them is also quite unfortunately. The, the the weird thing about this is that it's like I feel like I'm a part of the story because I'm moving it forward but at the same time I feel like a third party listening to like schizophrenic delusions like whatever you did the first time it sounds like it almost worked so how about you give it one last try because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish I did consider that because I was like what if I try to kill her again because if I kill her again does that work or does that send me back into the void all this standing around and talking is boring let's at least do something maybe we'll kill her again maybe we won't i'm kind of scared to meet her this time because i feel like it's on site with me now there's something else we haven't tried oh we can turn around and leave i'm begging you don't do this you're going to damn everything to oblivion you have to do something. You can't just walk away. Watch me. Yet here we are, walking away despite your protestation. You can only bend the rules so much, huh? You can talk all you want, but you can't really do much of anything, can you? Ugh, fine. You walk down the path away from the cabin. Note for all our sakes that you change your mind before it's too late. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Everything is getting... What's going on? Where are we? I don't know. But it feels like... Home. We're back in the void! That son of a bitch flipped over the table, didn't he? Yeah, we're back in the void! The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothingness. It's quiet. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder and louder as something other comes close. God, this is giving me big fear and hunger vibes. Feelers, not fingers, feelers. Probe across the fabric of reality, extremities finding your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. The vessel is full of you. I need something empty I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Wake up. It's not... What? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path, is a cabin. The real Slay the Princess starts here, you'll know it when you see it? Princess. What? You're here to slay her. What? 
I'm doomed. It's the end of the world either way. If I kill the princess, my world ends because I'm subject to a room in the void. Supposedly, if I let her out, she's going to destroy everything. If I go against the wills of whatever is out there, I'm still going to die? Question mark? Not exist? Exist in nothingness? I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to go in. You make your way up. A warning before you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip that dialogue because we've seen it literally three times already. Did the music change? I don't... No. I just want to talk to her. You only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Just... You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. She's helpless again. And lock eyes with the princess. Well, I say helpless, but chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. I don't think she's ever actually helpless, actually. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Let me talk to her first. Okay. What's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title? <laughs> what if it's both? So princess is your name. Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long. I guess I've Yeah, okay. You forgot your name, your own name. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. If I walk away from the narrator, I go into the abyss. If I trust the narrator, I go into a different kind of abyss. What if I leave again? going you can't just leave me here you'd better hope for your own sake that i don't my cursor before you make it back down here it's a claw was it a claw before it would yeah it was like that all this time right slip these chains she can't right she needed our help to get out of here but do you hear the conviction in her voice i don't think she's bluffing she has to be bluffing, but I'd hurry if I were you. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. <sighs> okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. It does. Look, oh it's yeah, it, it changes. To save after all. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. I I was going to just leave. It's Where the princess sat only a moment ago, there's only a severed arm, its cooling flesh still chained to the wall, and she is nowhere to be seen. Is it just me, or did this room get a lot bigger?
Let's try it. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start over? Oh, you coward. No. I don't think we can. Why don't you come closer? I have something to show you. Okay, we can I can just lock you in here, I guess. This is a let story. let her bleed out. Who's to say she'll actually succumb to her wounds? She doesn't have a weapon and she's missing an arm. You can finish this right here, right now. Okay. 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 Your eyes dart to the corners of the room. <laughs> you don't see her. Where is she? Close the door. She might try to get out. Close the door behind you. Almost magically, its locks immediately click into place. Maybe they'll open and finish the job. I don't know what's happening. There's something on my right. I'll wait. Oh, do you want to play a waiting game? I've been down here a long, long time. I'm very good at waiting. You do your best to patiently wait her out, but eventually, exhaustion starts to set in. Come on, wake up. We can't fall asleep down here. I love okay, fine. If we're gonna fall asleep, may as well go in. Too late you hear the quiet patter of feet against the basement floor, followed by the taut pull and sharp pain of tearing flesh as the princess lunges into you from behind and drags you to the floor. The ferocity overwhelms you, and as the princess rends flesh from both. What your is lips she? That's what I'm trying to understand. It slips from your hand. It literally feels like everything only gets worse. <laughs> suppose you just lacked the will to fight back. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand. And now look at you. I wasn't scared. I was trying to be strategic. Everything goes but I'm stupid, I guess. What's this? Oh, my history. Ah, okay. Return. Well... The beast? You're Did we do this one? In the woods, and you're here to sleep. Am I trying to unlock a correct series of events? She will lie. I don't see why that matters. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us. Only what we hear and smell. <laughs> <laughs> roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. Maybe. What am I missing? Am I missing anything? Am I supposed to be Interior gathering something? Is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. <laughs> No steel claw. Do you think we can talk our way out of this? I don't think she wants to talk. I guess we'll just have to trust that we made the right call. It'll still be here if we need it. The mirror keeps disappearing, so the mirror... The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. She sounds almost feral, impatient, or maybe eager. Is my indecision fueling this? You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp earth floor of a starlit pit. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You I'm literally getting emotionally, like, exhausted. Seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. You 
see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. I definitely don't think she's in change. That's, that, chain, that chain looks broken. Uh, move. Picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body. The princess. In an instant, she's pounced on the spot where you would have been. She's like a chimera or something. Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. But you still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit. What do we do? What if we left together? If you could get out of here on your own, wouldn't you have already left? You cannot reason your way out of this, fledgling. There's no compromise with what I am. Then tell me what you are so I can make an informed decision. At least she's up front about her intentions. I was sent here to kill you because I believe you're a threat to the world. I'm starting to believe that's true. Oh, for the love of them. You've given up the game. Great. All that will is hasten her victory so many useless thoughts run through your head thinking 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 you'll never hurt me if you keep thinking she's coiling for another strike be somewhere else we're on the back foot the back foot keeps us nimble keeps us alive it doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually kills us we need to take back the momentum we need to do something play dead survive is that a yes or is that an option jungle barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed that makes her practically unseen we're back where we can escape yeah you're deflecting and you bear your weakness to the world Stop hiding and show yourself. If you want to see me, you should get better at seeing. She knows that her strength lies in shadows and secrets. She won't reveal herself unless she has to. A tickling sensation rises at the base of your neck. Flee. We can't keep doing this. I'm no, I'm pressing in. I want to know. I need I need knowledge. Or maybe she's a little faster. You avoid her slavering jaws, but she manages to graze you, her titanic momentum skinning you along your side. It's like being sideswiped by sandpaper. How is she that fast? You're bleeding now. You instinctively touch your side, testing her claim. It's wet, and stings from the gentle touch of your fingertips. A costly mistake. We can't make it again. We will make it again unless something changes. We have to break the pattern. We need more time. She's cutting off our escape. Our game is nearing its end. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. And I will get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my whims. And my whims alone. Don't ask her what she wants. Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specific. Sorry, I'm a little click happy sometimes. Helpful. She's just a princess. Don't overthink it. She's clearly not. She's more tense this time. 
She means this next blow to be the last. The mere thought of moving again makes your bloodied side ache. We're exhausted. We're bleeding. We're still alive. We owe it to ourselves to move. Again. Once again, you have to avoid the full force of the impact. And once again, you are too slow to come away unscathed. You're starting to get tired. You're making mistakes. This isn't working. We have to do something. We have to figure out a plan. Don't plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. We're trying, but we can't keep this up much longer. We have to. We keep up or we die. You're getting slow. She seizes the opportunity, lunging once again from the darkness, fangs bared and claws flashing. She attacks over and over and over, and each time she moves with a little piece of you. Too tired to think, but we have to think. We have to move. It's too late. Before you get the chance to react, it's over. She makes her last foray from the dark corners of the room, unhinging her dripping maw. Her eyes fierce and full of hunger. You do your best to dive out of the way, and you partially. Is it partially? Yes. The princess fails to swallow you whole. Gross. Only swallows your lower body. That's just as bad. That's worse, even. It's death either way. At least this would be a faster end. You look down to see that the dirt between you is strewn your intestines. Trailing all the way up and disappearing behind her blood-stained teeth. Your legs are nowhere to be seen. You start to go into shock. The princess, bloody saliva dripping from her lips, idly gnaws on what's left of you as you rapidly fade away. I didn't mean to do that. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. She didn't mean to do that? Well, we're not dead. We're... But you don't have time to protest her premature observation of your death, because everything goes dark. So, you die. she needs me whole to get out. She said it herself, I need you in one piece and alive. So either she needs to consume me, or I need to let her inside of me somehow. That didn't work. We're going in with a plan this time. We're not getting stuck in another loop, just acting on instinct. Just instinct was keeping us alive until it wasn't. So what are we supposed to do? Great, so you've been here before. That doesn't bode well. You're not supposed to have been here before. This is supposed to be one and done. So you know more than you're letting on. Yeah, what he said. Of course I do, but believe me, it's in your best interests. The more you know about the princess, the more difficult your task will be. Why is that? Having me explain why would defeat the whole purpose. There are simply some things I'm not allowed to tell you. It's a hard rule. And whose rule is it? Who's telling you to boss us around? We've died twice already, and if you want us to stay alive this time, it's in your best interests to give us an edge. It's my rule, and this conversation is over. Okay. Sorry, there's fruit flies again. I was done with them. I like I, I killed all of them and they came back somehow. Let's go to the cabin. I You make your way <laughs> down to the cabin. Your fated confrontation awaits. You know what to do. So we need a plan. We've been over the plan. Go to her out of the shadows. Make her show herself. What if she doesn't want to be seen? We'll figure out a way to make it happen. And if that doesn't make you any easier to fight, it will. It's always easier to fight what you can see. No matter how big or toothy she might be, she spent as much time as she could in the shadows. So we're gonna draw her out. But she's fast. And she's clever. She's also never come up the stairs before. We're clever too. So this time we're not gonna let her cut off our escape. We're gonna lead her to the stairs ourselves. Mm-hmm be a lot easier to deal with her once we can actually see what she is. But you already know what she is. She's a princess. Yeah, right. A princess we couldn't see. And one that had big, sharp teeth, too. How about you stick to describing things and we'll stick to doing our job? Mm. Sharp teeth. 
but we have a beastly form. Yeah. Vines and brush obscure so much of the place that had you not seen the exterior. We have a beastly form. We are a beast too. Mirrors. Wait, what if the princess we're seeing is a reflection of ourselves? That's a timeline behind us? Like, what if we're her, we are the princess, and she needs to get inside of us to merge the timelines to escape from whoever or whatever the narrator is? stump, a pristine blade embedded in its exposed rings. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Because if we kill ourselves, we get sent to the void. If there's a way forward, that mirror is blocking it off. What are you talking about? There is no mirror. It's just the stump and a narrow tunnel that leads to the basement. The mirror. That's why it was disappearing. The narrator's trying to hide the mirror because the mirror has a secret. He isn't tricking us. Can you feel the wind? It's telling us there's a hole in that wall. Our eyes deceive us. You can kind of tell, yeah, because of the the way that the, the screen is right there. Then either way, we need to investigate. Might as well get started. Our eyes will deceive us. You really think being unarmed is best? Hope you know what you're doing, but let's not forget that it's up here if things go south. Was the mirror on the first run a different doorway? The steel claw makes us sloppy, too confident. We'll be faster without it. You step forward, approaching the small hole that leads to the basement, hesitating before you enter the princess's lair. Okay, see, now it's not downstairs, it's the princess's lair. Haven't you been paying attention? We're not hesitating. This supposed hole is blocked by that old mirror. That mirror isn't part of this place. It's seeped through from somewhere else. It, if there even is an it, is a hallucination. Like you said, you've been here twice before. Your mind was bound to start playing tricks on you eventually. It's so grimy. Maybe we can wipe it clean and finally get a look at ourselves. Did we successfully do that last time? I don't remember. Yeah. You reach forward and wave your hand over the open hole leading to the basement. See? Nothing. Tricks of the eye. No one sense can be trusted on its own. Am I supposed to be listening harder? To the darkness. If there were when the princess was a ghost, she was whispering things behind her actual dialogue. Was she trying to tell me something? tunnel of packed earth, growing more narrow as you descend. It smells of mold and decay. The damp walls leave streaks of dirt along your body as you're forced to hunch, then finally squat down on all fours in order to continue. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I can't catch on to what he's trying to say with that repeating line at the end. As you crawl forward on hands and knees, you're met only with the sounds of ambient earth. No voice slinks confidently up the stairs. No entity threatens violence or pleads for safety. There's no stairs anymore, though. Stay quiet. Don't give her a sound. You say nothing, maintaining the silence as you carefully make your way down into the basement. The basement is dark and cavernous, a gaping maw threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here. Save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. Stay on your toes. We take a step into the shadows, and as soon as she moves, we jump back, make her follow. From there, we trap her in the tunnel, draw her out of the cabin, whatever it takes to get her out of her element. Then we're safe. I'll try to lure her out. Shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness. Waiting for any sign of movement. That's right. Keep steady. Don't let your nerves get the better of you. There. She's about to strike. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. 
but you've already started your swift escape. That's stage one. Now stay focused. You dive into the tunnel and begin scrambling up towards the cabin. You hear her behind you, claws raking at the dirt, chains rattling, breaths hot and heavy with the effort of the ascent. But the sounds are coming slower now, the breaths pained and stuttering. You no longer sense frantic motion behind you in the tunnel. You risk a glance. She is a broad and sickly creature, her withered and emaciated flesh clinging to bones too large to fit in the narrow space. She managed to squirm her way into the tunnel in pursuit, but now she's stuck, incapable of either moving towards you or returning to the open darkness of the basement below. So that's what she's become. She wasn't like this when we started. Was she? No, she wasn't. Looking at her makes me feel sad. Yeah, now that we can see her, she doesn't feel like much of a threat at all. Sorry, I just killed a fruit fly on my desk. Gross. Gross. Her eyes look up at yours. Mm -mm, don't do that to me again. Pleading. Come back, you can imagine him saying. Don't leave me here. But you shouldn't listen to the sad eyes of a vanquished enemy. She wants nothing more than to change places with you. What if that's a good thing? What if slaying the princess means taking her place here and her getting consumed by the void? If you want us to ignore her, then why would you tell us any of that wide pleasing eyes begging for mercy business to begin with? All it does is make us feel conflicted. I'm merely describing things as they are. It's not my fault that her eyes had something to say. Even if that something was a ploy, which, if I might stress, I pointed out to you. What should we do about her anyway? Can she still end the world like this? She hurts. We should help. Uh-uh, that's weird. That's weird that that voice switched up like that this whole time. He was like, fear her, run away from her, uh, don't, don't go to her. Now he's saying we should help? Maybe we should try and talk to her. This is a good opportunity for information. We shouldn't waste it. That's a terrible idea. She doesn't know anything. She hasn't even said a word since you got here. Okay, yeah, I, I want to talk, but I don't want to free her. You cautiously make your way closer to the princess, her eyes avoiding yours with the silent resignation of a defeated predator. The hands got her. Was she running? Was she running to the from the void too? She knows about the void, and she's trying to get away from it. But you don't get the opportunity to speak to her. You turn to see that something has taken her away and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? The narrator's gone. Does that mean the world ended? It must have. Do any of us know what the world ending is supposed to look like? Good point. It hasn't ended. We're still here. So the world ending depends on our existence? I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. That thing reeks of death. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. I don't even know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. If there's even a her to find anymore. Good point. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Let's just stay still. We can't. We there's. We have to. I'm begging you. Don't do this. There's no other option, right? The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels. Final. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. Uh-huh. Okay, I expected that. 
I'm a monster. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed into the cabin. But it's empty. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Is the cabin a character? You recognize the presence inhabiting the shell. It's the entity that dwells in the spaces between. Something returns to the long quiet. It has surrendered its path of annihilation and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. You're that thing I met in the space outside of the woods, aren't you? I thought that was a dream. Vague recollections. Empty tunnels without a mouth. I am sorry if I frightened you. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is consumed by instinct. A predator pushing those around her to adapt. She will make for a bold heart. She wishes me to devour you, to make you a part of myself. But, but she she's only a voice. voice. Do not mourn her, for she is part of something greater. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Okay. Do you know the narrator? That makes sense, because she never acted like she could hear him. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Are you the princess? She is part of me. And part of me is her. But you were always the princess, or... But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Yes. <laughs> Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. What happens now? Nothing as we are, but I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. How many pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Okay, so you're beyond... Logic. You are an ethereal being. Okay. Uh, I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world if I help you. Is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. To remold. That is true. Kind of. Depends on the context. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and uneliminated. 
And if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. The narrator did say the more you know about the princess, the worse off I'll be. Hmm. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. But then wouldn't I have to forget again? Running me in circles again? I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. I'll wait forever. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you. But I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? Also, I just want to say, I really like this, this, di oh, you can't, oh, you can't see my, oh, this whole time you couldn't see my cursor? Oh, I was pointing at her eyes. <laughs> Uh, about how, like, her eyes are covered, um... It's an interesting design choice, like, we can't connect with her anymore. Like, those scary eyes and those soft eyes that kept trying to manipulate us are gone now. Like, it's... Empty. I don't know the word for it. until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side, until you're ready to return to mine. Okay, so the game closed. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. What a marvel of programming. <laughs> this is so cool. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. You killed me. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, okay, so this is, um... This is the reset, I suppose. So I'm gonna save here. Cause we, I mean, we we met it and we died. So I'm gonna save here. And I'm, I'm, I might do another episode to see what else is out there. Cause it feels like so much more is to be discovered. Um, thank you to the anonymous person who bought this, this game for me. This was amazing. I only wish that my camera wasn't so damn laggy so you guys could have seen my reactions in their true depth. Depth, you know, like, like, this was amazing. This was really cool. This is one of the most interesting games I've ever played. I'm quite genuinely baffled and I'm so happy that I played this because this is, this is fascinating. And I know I'm being cheesy because I'm, I, I'm going to school to learn programming. But because I started thinking about things in in the sense of like what how things work in the background, what an absolute marvel! Beautiful writing, beautiful, beautiful writing. I some this is some of the best writing I've seen in any game that I can bring to recent memory, like dialogue wise, but also also story, but like dialogue wise, like the writing in general is very very good. Wow, 
thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to have played this game for you and for all the other subscribers. Um, thank you so much for the gift. This really was a gift. It was. This was a, a, a an amazing, one of a kind, like I've experience that I've never experienced before. Well, I hope you guys had fun in that hour and ten minutes or so. My name is the Silent Sheepdog, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.